Do you love yourself? Do you really love yourself? And then how much do you love yourself? Why? Because if you really love yourself, generally speaking, you will do everything for the self to be happy. And when I speak about the self, I'm not speaking about the body. But I'm speaking about this emotional individual, the spiritual individual that is sitting within you that have the needs. Physical needs, physical elements, factors, fulfill the needs of the body. But this desire that I spoke about in the last episode, this void that is there inside of me, can only be filled through spiritual knowledge, spiritual understanding of the self. So when I talk about the self, I'm speaking about this emotional and spiritual being that has desire. To be loved. It's not the body that's asking for love, you know. Do you know that? It's not your body who's asking to be loved or for love. It's not your body that wants to be happy, you know. It is you, the psychological, the emotional, the spiritual being that is within you that is seeking love, that has a desire to be loved. And that being that we're talking about really is an energy. Happiness really is an energy. Love also is an energy. Energy that we produce. As if you just start thinking of, I am a loving soul. I am a loving soul means, I am beginning to create these thoughts of love for myself. And so I begin to generate this energy within me. Hmm? Now, why do we call ourselves human beings? Human and being, two different entities. The human aspect is the physical aspect. But the being is that living entity that gives life to the physical aspect, the body. That's why when someone dies, they no longer refer to the dead as a human being. But they say, the body. The remains, the corpse. Why you are now a corpse? Because that living entity within you is no more, is absent. So who wanted love? Is it the body wanted love? Can you give love to a dead body? So who really wanted to experience and to live in love? Is the being within me, the living being. And that is the being that has the desires. Because here is my body lying. And this body here is not telling me, I want to be happy, I want to be loved, or I want peace of mind. So who it is really who want peace of mind, who want to be happy, who want to be loved? It is this living individual, the energy force, the living force within me that we call the soul. Soul or the being. So it is the being that wants attention. It's the being that wants to be loved and accepted and appreciated, and appreciated. Because when I talk about the self, I don't refer to the body. The body is not the self. The self means I, the being. Hmm? So, who wants to be loved? I, the being, needs love. But I, the being, I am also love. Because if you ask someone, where is the peace you are searching for? They will tell you, peace is within me. If peace is within me, so is love and so is happiness. But we go out searching there for this love and this peace and this happiness. And our whole life will finish searching for peace, love and happiness externally. And we will never get it. Why? Because we were searching in the wrong place. It is not out there. The peace, the love, the happiness, the contentment, the wisdom, the inner strength or inner power, whatever we are searching for, it is already within us. And so when we practice meditation, we are beginning to go within, to come into touch with this source, this energy source of peace, love and happiness within us. And as soon as we come into touch with this self, this inner being, then we start awakening 
those powers and those potentials that are there within us. So we begin to awaken our inner peace. We begin to awaken our own inner love and our own inner happiness. It is there. But the reason why we are not able to experience it is because we have never taken that time to go within. Because everything is external. So meditation helps us to go internally and find ourselves. And when we find ourselves, only then we would realize that all that we were searching for externally is really within us. And so when we start to fulfill that inner desire, peace, love and happiness, we would realize that there is no need for all these 10 and 20 pairs of shoes. But one and two is enough. Yeah. 